Might as well remove the starting shortly part from the text. Because if all's looking good, we're starting now. And people are telling me, yes, everything looks good. Great. So what I love to do are these giveaways roughly once a month. Well, it's uh, not that simple. I'm now obliged to. I put up something on the Patreon that says I'll do this. So that's what we do. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have four lucky winners. Well, it might just be the same person that wins four times. Who knows? And uh, all the winners, I will give them any Paradox game or DLC that they want. We'll sort that out once this is done. So how's it going to work? Well, once I'm done talking in just a minute, I am going to bring up four images on screen. And speaking of images on screen, I think I can have something a bit more inspiring than just this. Ah, that looks better. Much better. Okay, I'm going to bring up four images on screen. They're going to be... Uh, crossword isn't the right bit, but it's going to be a fill in the blanks. Some of them will have letters already there as hints, and the general area of the map. The others will have nothing to go on except for some hints for the rows. And you're going to fill them in, and as you do, the coloured boxes are going to reveal a word. You just have to ping me with at DDR Jake with that word, and then I will put you down as the winner for that. I'll get all four winners, or the one winner that wins four times, and then after that, well, I was planning on jumping right into Factorio, but I'll probably sort you out with your, uh, your winnings first, because to the victor, their winnings. Okay, so I've been talking for plenty long enough, why don't we bring them up? Like I said, it's first come, first serve here, you have to ping me with at DDRJake when you know the word for one of these, or all of these, hell, it's up to you. So, what do we have? We've got something based in Africa, something for Britain, something about Europe, and something about the Near East. And I will say that almost all of these are just the names of countries. So if you know names of countries really well, or you are, uh, or you actually have Europa already fired up and going with it, then you're in luck. So as you can see, the blue colored in bits are going to form a word when you fill it all in. Just ping me with the word and we'll be good to go. And I'll take these things down, or maybe I can just scratch them off or something like that once we, uh, once we have it sorted. Maybe I have some way of doing that. Maybe I have something I can use, or maybe I don't. Ah, uh, well, who cares? No hints for the last two, Jake? Or the last two? Nah. You've already got letters half-filled in. That'll be plenty good. Now you have to uh, you have to tell me what the word in blue is and ping me with it. Max isn't pinging me with an answer, he's pinging me more questions, which is a waste of time. II Mint says Kent, which is no, you're obviously just taking a guess there. You don't fill in the horizontal bits you uh, for the, the Britain thing, you tell me what's in the blue boxes. It's going to form a word. Now, people are jumping on the Britain one, probably because it's the shortest, it's only got four letters in it, but that means people that go for the Africa one, in all of its ten-letter splendor, are getting a good head start, so lucky them. And we have our first winner, it's user three. Can I do that? There we go. User three correctly identified that DOSH is spelt it, spelt out in Britain. Northern Wales is Gwyneth, and English Fort is in Northumb or something or other. My home is Scotland, and the number of provinces is 13. D-O-S-H DOSH. So well done, that means Britain has been eliminated from the game. And that leaves three others. Now you're not going to win on individual ones like Thagnus here, think thinking that uh, Africa 9 Cape gets him something. No, that will reveal that C is part of the blue uh, blue boxes that you have to fill in. Should have preloaded EU4, dang it, says the hexagon Krieg. And Tatan was one letter away with Doa. How could Doa be correct? So close and yet so far. 
And user 3, who's obviously already shown that they're the best, says they're gonna hold back on the other three and give it a chance to everybody else. Maybe we can make all of these bigger then, since uh, I'm probably messing people up by moving these things about. It's like, no, no, I had it where I want it. Well, that's what you get for lacking ambition. I want a free EU4 giveaway, says Lefrayam. Well, I mean, if you win one of these, then you can get EU4, if you want. And Faggy says that's what I get for jumping straight into it. Everybody's jumped straight into it. Alright, we have another winner from It's a Shill, who has correctly identified I Love Ulm as one of these. So, which one is it? Well, I think it's the Near East. I is from Emirati. L is from Baluchistan. O is in Ottomans. V is in... Uh, Moldavia, I believe it was. What was next? <laughs> Moldavia in the Near East, I know. Uh, the E is from uh, Serbia, I think. U from Ulm. Okay, that is definitely not in the Near East. Well, most of them are. Good enough. G is from that country. I think it's Gilan. And then finally, Ajam. So yes, I love Ulm. So It's a Shill is another winner. So we got two winners. Might as well start writing you down or else I'll forget. So we got It's a Shill and... Who won the dosh? That was user 3. So there's two more to go if we get rid of Near East. Boom, there we go. Now no one can say anything about that. It's Europe versus Africa. Like I say, anybody that started with Africa at the very start is going to have a keen advantage here. Because I don't think other people are working on that. They went for the easier ones. Like the fools they are. Frozen Kaiser says Ethiopia, then says no, no, no. You're right, no. So we've got two down. Africa and Europe. Fill in the boxes. And then the bits in blue will give you a word or phrase. Or actually, I can't even remember what they are now. But you can figure it out. And then Seminole? No. No, it is not Seminole Zergal. Why does it say generica national ideas? It's just generic. Anyway, any mistakes in them are obviously part of the difficulty. I guess the other one is I kill Riga. And Chumro says Mozambique? No. You gotta fill in the blues here. The blue letters will form a word or phrase. You just ping me with that and you'll be the winner. And we have some people here that just lack the ambition to see it through. Europe should be the easiest one here. Very easy in fact. But, well what do I know? My PC is so bad. EU4 is not even ready for me to try and participate. Well, if you just know, uh, if you just know Europe very well, then you'll be okay. Africa's even easier. It's got hints. Hint three is the easiest one. It's Fazan. Love Land Monkey says, "I have three on Europe, but the others are quite hard for me, at least." Well, perhaps you could pitch in in the chat. That is, if you don't want to secure the prize for yourself. Like I said, we have two winners so far. Two people that show the ambition that would make Cao Cao proud. Where are the others who are stepping up? We've almost been at this for ten minutes, and only two of the four have been claimed. <laughs> I think there are people desperately trying to fire up EU4. and One is delightful and the other devilish, says Barcode. No. No, they're not. Friendly Richard says, I only got two in Europe. Well, if you were more altruistic, you could just share what you found out. Cooler says, one is Brittany. How does that even work? The third letter is R. God damn Balkans. Five is Jordan. Six is Holland? Does Holland end in an N, Cooler? Good heavens. Ah, okay. Cooler is trying to sabotage people. 
just like Bald Bull sabotaged his face. Well, at this rate, people that are jumping in at this point are really on par with everybody else. You fill in the blanks, you line up the blues, and the letters in blue will spell out a word or phrase that will help you win. Well, not just help, they will secure victory at this rate, because nobody else is getting them. Maybe I should step in and uh, help out a bit here. I'll go with Africa, since Europe is the easy one that everybody is surely getting done. Easy peasy. So the first one says generica and national ideas. Now around Ethiopia are some of the only countries in the world that still have generic national ideas. There are a few of them. Kaffa I don't think is one of them. They have their own uh, their own ones. We have Waleita. We've got Hadia. We've got John Jiro. We've got Enaria. And we've got Damot. Some of those might just fill it in, so it'll give you some letters to... Uh, t okay! Yo Ruji has figured it out! That's right, the Europe one spells Get Swole. I like his Get Swole. And Eh Wilhelm is just a little too late, because our winner here is Yoruji. I'm going to take that down in my notes, just in case anybody tries to swindle me. So yes, Get Swole was figured out by... Yoruji. We'll sort you out with any game or DLC that you're wanting from the Paradox catalog. So yes, the first one is Germany. The second one is Etruria. Etruria? I forget how it's said. The third one is also Etruria, that Italian state. The next one is Silesia. Then, what is the next one? Uh... Uh, um, hmm. Or, uh, yeah, I'm sure I knew these when I put them together. Man, I, I should have taken like a master copy of these. I was just deleting letters at random from them. How can Europe get sold? The third one is Epirius. No, it's Etruria. So the second one is wrong. So, like I said, the mistakes in them are all just part of the puzzle. I think the next one up is Poland, and then T something. Ah, I forget. I can't even remember what that is. T. T. -t, -t. Less. The Isles. That's what it was. Okay, I'm pretty sure Europe made some sense. Regardless, we've got somebody that figured it all out, and the last one left is Africa, which I'm pretty sure has no mistakes in it. I'm sad, I don't play Africa often. I'm at a disadvantage, says Love Land. Okay, Neferi got it in there with efficiency, which is what Africa is. Generic national ideas was Inaria, to give us the F. Everyone's favorite go uh, coastal gold min, or mine as it should say, is Safala to give us the F. The next F comes from It's Fazan. Used to be known as the tag Zanzibar is Kilwa for the I. Blue sandwich between much better nations is Tlemcen to give us another letter, probably a C. 31 development of Pain in the Arse is Katsina. I guess that would be very difficult if you didn't have the game up. A lake near Victoria is Lake Albert 3 confirmed. King is obviously Kong. The highest dev uncolonized province in the game is Cape. And 10 is Teotal Recall for the Y. So congratulations to Neferi who managed to get that. So if I can get a ping from Neferi, it's a shill, user 3 and Yoruji. Actually, a whisper would probably be better, but does does uh, Twitch still do whispers? Whatever the case, I will get you all sorted out with your keys, come hell or high water. I mean, it would be great to just con this and just, you know, not give it out whatsoever and ban those who, uh, who would dare claim otherwise. 
Now, following this, I'm going to stream uh, Factorio, but I want to get these uh, these winners winning out of the way first. So I'll probably take the stream down to get that sorted out, lest I accidentally share all my bank details with the world. And then we're going to get going with Factorio when I bring the stream up. You might be wondering, where's the EU4 stream? Well, where am I in general? I was off in San Francisco for a while, but I'm back now. I've put up a poll on my Patreon where uh, people with obviously too much money than cents can vote on what the next campaign is going to be. And indeed, what is it going to be? Let's have a look at the map, because I put up a few ideas. Uh, one is that I'm going to go for the Empire of Man achievement. We have to start out as man and conquer all the islands. Might be kind of similar to Hormoz, but now the game has a strict idea of what an island is. So uh, it also starts completely different location from Hormoz, who you know, no longer can do an all-island adventure with all these holdings. Another idea is Bad Ideas Guy 2. That's been on the list for a wee while. And with our wheel at our service, there can be plenty of bad ideas. And the final is the OPM. Where I'm going to play as a single province miner and remain a single province miner and yet defeat all great powers by warfare, I should hope. Those are what's up there. We're going to vote on it much the same way we did with Lucky Luke, or Unlucky Luca, and the others before. So I will take the stream down. I will be back in 10 or 15 minutes with Factorio once I've sorted out our glorious winners with their prizes. And yeah, then I'll be back. So cheers for joining. I love doing these giveaways, even if the chat can sometimes get out of hand, but it was pretty good today. Like I said, I'll be back. Until then, it's cheers and cheerio.